Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so is this any good? Is this Bars Leaks automatic transmission repair any good? If you guys have used this and you guys had had success on it, definitely leave a comment in the comment section and let us know whether um, it has helped out your transmission or not. Essentially, it restores performance, stops slipping, and prevents lazy shifts, quiet noise, stops leaks, condition seals, and O-ring. So, let me give you my perspective on this. Um, I will tell you guys that I've used similar products. I've used Riceland, which is my go-to stuff for uh, engine formulas for transmission formulas um, uh, stuff that could possibly help whatever conditions you have with your engine or transmission that's my go-to I've done reviews on it it's worked for me um, I am a believer in it because previous to uh, previous to having issues with a Toyota Highlander hybrid that I had previously and um, I changed the time bell, I started having some ticking noise, used the Riceland to quiet down the lifters. It kind of worked, it was decent. I've used that for <clears throat> the uh, Riceland's transmission um, fixes for transmission issues that I had, that I had with my Tahoe. <clears throat> so let me tell you guys something about these products, okay? My personal experiences with this is they're pretty much the same, but I prefer to use uh, the Ricelands. All right, I don't like the Lucases because the Lucases are too thick. You guys ever use Lucas? I've used Lucas um, in the dead of winter, like 19, 10 degrees out. It's almost impossible to get that into your the the little transmission dipstick. <clears throat> Now with this bars leak, it, it, it it's a little bit more complicated. It, it, it's sectioned off into two different kind of solutions. One's a thicker thickener, the other one is the regular <coughs> solution. Um, and I gotta tell you something. All these do, <clears throat> they pretty much just thicken up, thicken up your transmission fluid so that. <clears throat> Thicken up your, your transmission fluids and it reconditions your seals. All right. Um, if you guys, I, I've used something else to recondition the seals. What is it called? ATP 205 or something like that. ATP. I think that's what it's called. And I had good experience with that. I don't know if I've actually ever done a review with that product. But if I ever needed to recondition seals, I would use that instead of the bar sleeks. But I believe that all these formulas actually have um, the uh, seal reconditioner uh, as a solution, part of the solution in these bottles. Um, they're, depending on where you're getting these from, Walmart sells them pretty ex inexpensive, but they're pretty much similar price, eight, nine, 10, 11 dollars. Um, it's 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 worth it if you guys here here's here's where these um, these formulas are worth it okay <clears throat> so if you guys have transmission issues where it's slipping it's not shifting into gear etc etc um, but the transmission fluid is clear the transmission is fluid is clear you guys should definitely try using this. It'll probably help you out. Now, if the transmission fluid is brown or black, the chances are your transmission is probably gone at that point. It's probably not worth using this stuff on it with that kind of transmission fluid. Even if you change out the transmission fluid, if your transmission fluid is brown, brownish, dark brownish, um, dark, black, tarred, um, thick, that's it. It's probably too far gone. You probably have damage to your transmission to the point where none of this stuff will actually work. But you can try it. I mean, it's like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. Chances are, worst case scenario, it does nothing for your transmission. Um, by some miracle, it might do it, but I doubt it. 
I doubt it will help out the situation. It might get you maybe a little bit further, a little bit more mileage of driving, rough driving. If you're in, if you're in that situation where transmission fluid um, is that bad, um, you probably shouldn't change your transmission fluid if it's that bad. To be honest with you, if you get to the point where your transmission fluid is like dark brown and black and it's still rolling, probably should not change your transmission fluid. But I guess you could pour down a bottle of like $10 of this and see if it does anything. Um, me personally, um, I think I've done I've, I've done um, reviews of Lucas Transmission Fix. I'm not a fan of it. A, it's really way too thick. B, um, I actually did <clears throat> use that on a transmission on my GMC van where that transmission is gone it really didn't do anything but at that point the transmission is gone i'm not a fan of lucas because i'm a fan of riceland uh, products i've had ex uh, good experiences with it so i'm going to keep on using riceland as far as the bars leak stuff is concerned i don't like the fact that they actually have it in two different they have they have two different solutions in the same bottle um if you ever try pouring it out, the thicker portion of um, the thicker solution, it's gonna stay in there. All right, you're gonna have to like, particularly if you're doing these, pouring this, uh, um, pouring this in cold weather, it's gonna be so thick that if I remember right, I actually had this these bars leaks um, solutions for the. Um, for my issue with my power steering issue and I tried pouring it in um, in 25 degree weather Fahrenheit and just had so much issue with it that um, I really didn't bother doing it you know I had so much issue pouring the thicker portion of I think you're supposed to pour like one portion in first versus another portion but regardless that's one of the reasons why I don't like bars leaks it is one of the reasons why I don't like bars leaks and I prefer Riceland stuff. I don't need to have this more complicated thing where I'm, I'm pouring like one, one part of the bottle in and I'm pouring the other part of the bottle in afterwards, but it's so thick that it's, it won't roll in. But regardless, <clears throat> regardless, um, I'm sure, I'm sure it, 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 it would help if it could help your situation, if your situation was helpable as far as um, there's no damage to your transmission. But, you know, but to, to be honest with you, I would get the Riceland over this, but I'm sure you have your own personal experiences with this. If you have, you had good luck with this, um, with the Boris Leaks stuff with this particular high mileage transmission repair definitely drop a comment in the comments section let us know whether a it's helped out your situation and b it didn't help out your situation or c it made your situation worse i doubt that this stuff will make your situation worse if you had issues with your transmission to begin with now if you put this stuff in and if you didn't have any issues with your transmission do not put this stuff in to prevent transmission issue don't that's not a that's not something that that anybody should do in my opinion to put this in to prevent transmission issues if you don't have transmission issues don't use this stuff only use this stuff if you have transmission issues or you couldn't find any other thing. So basically, let me tell you guys what. All right, transmissions are really, um, they're really complicated. But these days, there are so many things that could cause transmission issues that you guys are gonna wanna make sure that this is your last go-to. Don't make this your first go-to. Make this your last go-to. Meaning you wanna check out your fuses, you wanna check out your um, throttle body because throttle position um, sensor issues could cause quote unquote hot shifting all that stuff particularly not even in modern times I had a 90, 1995 uh, Ford van that felt like it had transmission shifting issues but it turns out every time there's a check engine light every time and, and there's an issue with the uh, throttle position sensor it, 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 it does a hard shift from like first to second or something like that. And uh, this is not what you want to put.
put in first as your first go-to to fix your issue. You definitely want to check out the check engine light and make sure that you uh, make sure that none of that stuff is causing your issue and that your transmission issue is actually a mechanical transmission issue that this could possibly help. But that's my opinion on it. If you guys have any of a any of your own personal experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Appreciate your time, right, guys. Take care.